as Bruce is up to the stage now. Yeah, K9, you know, definitely one of our historic local fiends. You know, he's going to be attending as much as possible as, you know, he's known to be doing. And he's definitely here showing up at MSM. Yeah. Looking to get a win over Jason right now. Yeah, Jason is, uh, oh, I haven't seen him in a while, actually. He was one of the best Smash 4 clouds uh, in in Smash 4. Uh, he was one of the best clouds in Smash 4. <laughs> um, very, very talented player. Uh, we'll have to see who he goes for in this, because uh, I feel like besides a, Luna... He's, he's always been playing a lot of characters. Recently, I've been seeing him play Bowser. Okay, well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's very different from, from yeah. Cloud, I'll have to say. But, I mean, he was also, even in Smash 4, known for playing just a lot of characters. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't attending a whole lot, but, like, he had some in the pocket. Yeah. We'll have to see how this goes down. And, of course, the K9 Nets Bruce will be attending the, the Goodwill Invitational tournament as well as you all should if you are in socal so be sure to check out the bracket and see k9 is probably seated second right now salem is i think attending and he'll be the first seed and he's going meta knight okay he maybe did play a lot of meta knight in four that was one of his other characters he would say like when he didn't want to play cloud meta knight was much more fun and to just play in general so i'm not surprised we'll be seeing it today but yeah. the Sheik from K9. Oh, even going the or the original King of Smash Color the 2, the golden one. Yeah, I haven't seen that one in a while. Sheik did receive a notable buff in this patch. That's a lot of different changes, like that fair range. Oh, yeah, that's being able to string, to e uh, string just a little bit easier, probably. We'll have to see how it plays into practice, though, because if he's pulling it out now, he must feel pretty confident that in the lab, this character is, d is doing it. He's doing the work. Yeah, this was one of his, you know go-to's in Smash 4, so, you know, it's really cool to see once the character returns a little bit better than what they were at, they are coming out in the bracket. Uh, goes in with the dash attack, wow, I'm surprised actually that up tilt connected, and gonna be able to get that grab, continuing on with the string into the raw back air, continuing with his ledge pressure, Jason already off to an amazing start, will he be able to get that forward smash? Not quite, but still the ledge traps keep going, k is trying to find the right option, but Jason is just one step ahead saying, you know what, I'm already there with you, I'm gonna be able to find you. Yeah, and a bit of a trade there lets K9 breathe just a little bit, but even still, Jason just going in right now, it's working for him. I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to elicit a reaction. He's trying to make him think that he's going in with the burst option, then fade back immediately with the jump and try to elicit a response out of him. Not quite happening. K9 going to get that string. Look at... So we're starting to see dividends of Smash 4 she coming out with that fair into Bouncing Fish, continuing on and keeping up this less trap. How does he get it through? Not able to find that aerial he was looking for, so Jason will have another shot at it. I, I just want to point out that it's really cool. Sheik actually holds the needles now that they're fully charged. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just think that's a really cool like animation change she received in this game. I haven't Ooh. really seen much of her, but what we are seeing right now is a great back air there from Jason going to take the first stock. Yeah, still a very strong move as it was in Smash 4, so you will be able to find stocks like that, especially against a light character like did, Sheik. Did he just try to wave land onto the stage? <laughs> All right, yep. going for that, that going for that very safe uh, drill rush. This is, I mean, Sheik doesn't really have anything to challenge that except for maybe me needles. But I have to see how that was. Uh, maybe the drill rush goes right through it because K9 not challenging it, respecting it, and the force smash comes in. No tech chase still coming from Jason, and but a tech chase from K9 right back, saying, "Oh, you know what? You didn't hit me with the force smash. I'll hit you right back, though." Yeah, that was a great choice there from K9. Jason charging a force smash in his face. K9 opting just to jump away. A trade right there for Jason is still in his favor. Oh, he just went in there with a dash attack, catching that dash dance. And yeah, just uh, taking to the skies, using that dare to protect them on the ground. And yeah, just right outside the range where even a parry won't be able to protect them. He's doing an amazing job right now. Oh, he gets that pivot forward smash. K9 not able to get that back air out. Looked like the hitbox was just ready to come out, but not quite there. And Jason closing out the next stock. Yeah, and Jason with a really solid lead over K9 right now. Almost a full stock ahead with the Man Knight against the Sheik. You know, these are characters that we've seen both of them historically play, but it looks like Jason's mana is a little less rusty. Yeah, oh, I like that. The pivot cancel into the Forto gets himself a little bit more range. And he's continuing up that pressure. Puts him off stage one more time. Ah, but the big reversal coming from Jason. Doesn't get the trip with that down tilt. Now it's minus on hit. So he was able to hit back, but the potential ladder combo carries him with the Pokemon Stadium platform. He's not able to find anything else. Yeah, he wasn't able to find that last up air that he needed, so the combo ends there. But the pressure from Jason is not stopping with that up air. He is still relentless against K9. He is on the ledge now, though. Yeah, it's not quite finding the ledge traps that, you know, Smash 4 Sheik was able to do. That landing there is just able to go around it very easily. Oh, that cross of DI 
almost able to take the stock, but Jason is he trying oh, to go in? And, but the shuttle loop and of course that intangibility on the explosion will catch him off guard. I but K9 does have Jason to his last stock, but the percents are still not in his favor. Jason's been finding much earlier stock KOs than K9 as well. Yeah. All right, stuck on the ledge one more time. All right, just gets one back here. Jason is back in the fray though. Corner carried all the way with that next fair though. And I like that, the quick wave land. It's only 10 frames of ending lag, so if you're able to come back to the stage just fine before your opponent while he's grabbing the ledge, it can reposition you to be able to maintain stage control. Oh, how did that back here miss? But the forward smash will find its mark, and Jason taking a pretty strong game one. So, uh, Wolf. <laughs> 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 it's like, it's like uh, you tried, but <laughs> probably Wolf, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, so K9 taking it right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. I would assume the Wolf comes out now. You see the hesitation? Yeah, 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 he's hovering over Wolf. Like, he's, just, no. he's going back to Sheik. He's going back to Sheik? Okay, okay, man. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I like it. Yeah, like the the, the down smash up nerf is not that bad, K9. Like, just we're not, it's, <laughs> it's not that bad. You only die like 2% later. <laughs> I think it was 5 or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, still, K9 Sheik was starting to look good. It was bringing it back, and there is no real better place to practice it than in a bracket. Mm -hmm. if, he's, if he's confident enough to take this game from Jason, it was only last start. Uh, you know, maybe maybe the Sheik is a good pick still. Yeah, we'll have to see. He's doing a better job. He's got two ledge traps there. Two fairs bouncing fish. Very nice stuff. And wow, just catching him, trying to go in that dash dance. Catch him on the pivot, and he's able to get a forward tilt. All right. There's the sure grab on the nair from Jason. We start off with the down throw. Gets two up airs afterwards. Just pressuring his shield now because he wasn't able to follow up anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pivot forward smash. Not quite working out there, but it's still very safe on block, so K9 just respecting that space. Oh, the near the bouncing fish, not it's quite not able to find it. Wow, apparently that confirm isn't there, or at least K9 wasn't able to find it. The late hit near into the bouncing fish yeah. was interrupted by Jason. He keeps himself alive, and an interesting show loop interaction there. The single hit forcing K9 behind him. Yeah. yeah, as from what I've seen, a lot more reliably, yeah, Nair for Bouncing Fish not quite working out. The fair to Bouncing Fish works out much better, actually, at these, like, kill percents. That's usually what Charlie tries to do when uh, he's got himself at the ledge and he's uh, trying to get, seal out the kill with a ledge trap. Let's see what he goes for. Okay. Up throw. Up throw. Not able to find anything afterwards. I'll try to do the Mr. R with the medial Bouncing Fish. Not quite able to find that either, though. Yeah, but I mean, he's still just keeping Jason on the ledge over and over and over. It doesn't matter if K9 can't kill him till 200 with a fair, if he can't get off the ledge until 220. Yeah. Okay, the dash attack will finally be able to do it. Got him at a really high percent, but K9 keeping up the control here. At the same time, it takes Jason only like one good pivot S smash like he was doing in game one to be able to seal it out. I mean, just nothing. like that. He doesn't even need the pivot. <laughs> hits under the ledge. K9 not getting off. His invincibility wearing out and Jason evening up the game already. Yeah, I said F smash and Jason probably heard me. It's like, oh yeah, let's do that. Let's <laughs> catch you hanging on the ledge. We're kind of close. <laughs> yeah, <kinda> close. <laughs> players. Exactly. Yeah. All right, we'll have to see. Uses that nair to interrupt his aerial approach. Does I get the trip there? No, but K9 does try and whip punch it with a grab and it does not connect. So Jason is going to get some hits of the jab. <laughs> Wow, just not respecting K9 at all. Just went immediately in there with that dash attack. Wasn't able to follow up with anything else, though. These two now starting to respect each other's space. He's trying to find a retreating option from K9. Not quite coming to fruition, though. And K9 just jumping in, trying to find that punish. But the uh, jab hitbox is just in the way. Yeah, and that was a great choice from Jason to just hold the jab there. K9 trying to find the landing with the bounce of his not going to find Reset neutral. There's the backup for Jason. Forces K9 off stage. He goes deep for it. I love the delay on his upbeat because he knows he already lost a si one stock earlier to the uh, vanish. Yeah, he doesn't want to <laughs> deal with that again. Okay, that time, able to catch him pressing a button, gets that bouncing fish to interrupt. He's just waiting out the invincibility. I and K9 right now doing a great job, you know, shining us up about the wolf saying, I, I told you my sheep could do it. <laughs> He's looking very comfortable right now on this game too. Gets the fair into the bouncing fish. That's 38% on to JCN right now. Yeah. JCN being a little bit obvious that he's trying to fish for the kill here. Getting that pivot forward smash and run up up smash. Not quite oh. able to find anything, but track down there. Now to do it into the down smash. Very nice stuff. Quickest smash option he has, I think, for that option. Yes. And then able to go in and seal it out before things uh, turn back into K9's favor. Hey, man, whatever works, works, right? Yeah.
I mean, Sheik's very light, so you can, you can do a lot of experimentations, like things you didn't expect to kill. Oh, that killed! And Kana missing the platform chase right there with the backer, letting Jason get up, and this could be a very bad spot for him to be in. Nanite forcing him off the stage with the back air, has him at the ledge, jabs, catch the jump. Yeah. Let's see how he gets back. Oh! oh Jay, oh, 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 the diamond cutter! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just catching him rolling right there at the end, and he tried to get away. Can I said, nah, man. You're coming back to me. Yeah, and he was ready for the roll away, charged it up and everything. Jason giving it <laughs> him exactly what he wants, and that's the 1-1. One, one for K9 now. Yeah, can't, uh, Jason just looked and was like, ah, he's like totally fell for that. You got it. I mean, he got plenty of like pivot forward smash kills. Yeah. It's even, I think. Yeah, we'll see what Jason goes for. Gonna go sticking back with the Meta Knight. Yeah, I mean, the Meta Knight did work out for him game one. It was still a pretty close game two. Yeah. I wouldn't expect anything. Honestly, if he just survived that up smash or like just rolled in or rolled away rather, it probably would have worked out for him. But that time, not quite gonna work. He's gonna get that down throw, the up smash, you know, just uh, bread and butter that's been around since Smash 4. Hmm. Didn't fade back with those fares, so that was very unsafe. Allows K9 to get a quick opening there. Alright, K9 and Jason just right at even percent right now. Both players just spacing each other out. Neither of them wants to give an opening, but as I say that, Jason committing to an up tilt that doesn't connect, and that's gonna be a punish for K9, but again, not a whole lot of damage. Okay, just catches him on the jump. Jason playing much more patient than he was on game two. Playing a little bit of more well-paced game. He's got himself at the ledge here though, but he's, yeah, he's able to get around just fine. I think something about the music too is just like that intensity <laughs> with the battle theme. It's like, okay, I gotta be careful if I if I, if I go in too hard, then I might potentially lose my stock. I'm expecting to just hear the little beeping whenever <laughs> one of them's at high percent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, run up up smash, yeah. He's doing a good job. He's staying grounded more this match, so he's able to catch more anti-airs and catching A9 when he tries to go for an approach option. Most of the time, he's going in for like landing fair, landing there, landing back air. It's not quite working out here. Ground options oh. are just not quite there. He actually calls out the roll away with the backer, but he doesn't find all the hits, so K9 was able to answer back. Great pair, but it is a multi-hit down there right there, so K9 still able to land safely. Jason looking and that's an SD! Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, at least it was an SD while his opponent still at a high percent, so you can still try and bring it back to even. But... Just like that. Never yeah, mind. Quite. Doesn't <laughs> the vacuum doesn't KO. Looking for these forward smashers, it... Man, it does have tools in his arsenal to find the stock. Calling out K9 jump once again with these backers. Jason is getting a lot of those. Yeah, he's been preemptively catching him on the air-to-air -air combat, and he already has a hitbox out before she can really do anything. And he's got that, even though it's a butter knight, he still has a disjoint technically, so he's able to beat out Sheik and most of those air-to-air -air options. Keeping things even here, and he's gonna go in with that jump fair, and catches him with the dash attack. That might have been a potentially a shield poke, oh. and gets the nair all the way to the end. If you went for the neutral B, I feel like they could potentially kill, but still, going for the safe, the safe bet, guaranteed damage. Yeah, I mean, it was almost enough to do it with that neutral air. Just rate the eye from K9, keeping him alive right there. Back air out of shield. Yeah, intercept him one more time. This time, Chase Han was focusing more on getting back to the stage, so he didn't have those preemptive hitboxes ready. I feel like we keep seeing K9 charge up the needles, then not throw them. Mm -hmm. Like, they're just sitting in his back pocket, just in case he needs them. Tries to call out the landing with the up smash, but it's not going to work. Yeah. I feel like needles in general, they're strongest when you use them for B reverse wave bounce movement. And then additionally, when you go for the Mr. R combo. Oh, but the board to the up air. Yeah, yeah that'll that, do it. That'll do it, apparently. Yeah. Meta Knight doesn't really have the best mobility with his jump, so even if he tried to jump out of the way, that might have still been a confirm with Sheik. The up air does cover a lot of range. Oh my god, he barely missed time that punish on the get up attack. Jason had the right idea. Wow, that Nair right actually man. hitting out that bouncing fish. Very nice stuff. Keeping things even here. We're down to last stock here, potentially, for both Jason and K9 and Spruce. Both players very uh, talented in their own right, but we'll have to see who comes out on top. Yeah, and there's the forward tilts for K9. Gets the triple forward air into the bouncing fish. That's a lot of damage onto Jason. Yeah, he's just not finding that Nair to ledge trap. He's been doing much better with the fares, actually, to catch him off guard. But again, another ledge trap here. How does Jason get out of this one? Get up attack, actually. And, of course, Sheik's grab range. Not the greatest, especially one standing. Oh, and he finally gets the trip. He's been looking for that all day. And he clips out the jump, too. Will he be able to seal out the stock, though? No, he just opts to go for the ledge trap instead. Forward smashes the wrong way as well. Looks like Jason's cracking just a little bit, but it might not 
be what it takes for K9 to bring himself back into this. Jason playing very well right now. Gets oh. the standing back here, doesn't get the tech chase with the forward smash. Holds it in his face. <laughs> oh, respects the space, but the landing there. Not able to find anything else, though. He's looking for it, but that allows K9 to get the control here. The directional air dodge. Michelle Lou back to this. Oh, he oh. doesn't clip the ledge, and K9 just takes it with a forward smash out of nowhere. Why did he not clip the ledge? It looked I, like he should have gone there. <laughs> I don't know. I was sure he was going to grab it. It looked like even K9.